Hi, my name is Darren Lithgow, and I'm the author of TNG, and today I'm going to be upgrading an existing TNG website, my own website in fact, to version 11. So if you haven't already downloaded it, find the email that you received after purchasing the upgrade, find the URL and the username and password, go to the, log the downloads page, it should look like this. Okay, near the top, uh, you'll see TNG full version. If you were installing TNG brand new, this is where you'd go to get the full version. But since we're upgrading, we want to scroll down to the TNG updates section. There are several different upgrade zip files you could download, and they all depend on which version you're currently running. So if you've been keeping up to date with your upgrades and you're on the latest version, 10.1.3, then this one at the top is what you want. If you're a little behind, maybe you have 10.01 or 10.12, then uh, this next one is what you want because you're upgrading from any version after version 10. Likewise, if you have an older version, 9 or 8 or 7 or before, then you want to get the one that's listed down there. Now I'm going to be upgrading my site which is running version 10 and I could choose this one at the top, but I'm going to choose this second one just because I think most people are going to be in that boat. I'm going to click there to download, and once I've got it all downloaded, and uh, I'm going to go to that location where I saved it, and uh, un what you'll do is when you find that file, double click on it to extract or unzip all the files. I've already done that here, and you can see I've got a list of all the files that were included, and I've got this one highlighted that says readme 10x. This is the one that includes the installation instructions. And if you missed that, back here on the downloads page, right next to the link, it says the installation instructions are in this file. So when you go to the place where your files are, be sure not to choose this one above the readme.html because that is for the full version install. If you accidentally go down that road, it will warn you, so hopefully you'll be able to back out in time. But double click on this file, readme 10x, and it will open the upgrade instructions in a new tab in your browser. So the first step is to get the files. We've already done that, so we can skip over that. The next one has to do with backing up your settings and other things. If you click on the show instructions, you've got a list of important files on your system that you might want to back up. Now, if you've backed these up fairly recently, or if you're an expert at upgrading and you're fairly confident in your skills that you won't um, mess anything up, then you could probably skip this. But if you haven't backed these up, it's a good exercise to go through and just might save you a headache if uh, you have an accident or something happens that you weren't expecting during the upgrade. So in order to do a backup and then later in order to upload the upgrade files, you are going to need a connection to your website. So to connect to your website, uh, I recommend having an FTP program. And a good one that's also free, I recommend a lot, is called FileZilla. So I've got that right here. You can uh, just do a Google search to find this if you don't have it already. And I'm using a Mac here, but uh, uh, FileZilla is available for both uh, Mac and Windows. So do a search for FileZilla and download it and install it on your computer. And once you've got it installed and open, go look up in the upper left for this icon that says uh, Open the Site Manager. So click there and you'll see over here on the left a place where you can add one or more sites that you connect to frequently. I've already got one for my website. And over on the right here are the connection parameters that you'll need. There's the host name which is really just the uh, URL or domain name of your site. And the other important things are the username and the password. These other fields like port and encryption, they may be important, but chances are uh, you're not going to have to change those. You may need to change login type to normal if you see it as anything else. But once you've got these things entered, and if you don't know the username and password of your FTP site, then you can ask your hosting provider and they should give you this information. Once you've got this entered, just click connect. And now you've got your computer's files on the left and your website files on the right. OK, 
Okay, so in order to find the files you really care about, first we need to go into the folder called public HTML. That's pretty common on most sites, and that's where all the files that are seen on the internet will be stored. So I'm going to double click to go in there. Now if your home page pointed directly at your TNG files, then you would be looking at the TNG files right now. For me, I put them in a subfolder called genealogy, so I need to drill further into there. Okay, so now the next step, remember we were going to do some backups, so I need to find the important files. Like for example, what if I needed to back up the config file? So here it is. So I clicked on it to select. Now over on the left, let's find a place where I can back it up. So here I have a folder that I've set aside for backups. You can see I have some backups there already. So if I want to back up this file, I just select it over on the right and drag and drop over to the left. Now that file is backed up. And I can repeat that for all the other important config files, like maybe that one, and uh, let's see if I want to back up my um, import settings, which is down here. I can select that, and here's my home page. A control click or a command click will select more than one file at a time. And I just drag and drop those over to the left. Okay, and you can repeat that for all the rest of them. I'm not going to repeat it now here because I've done it already. Uh, but uh, all those files that were listed over here, you might want to back up. Now, if you are using a newer version of TNG, say version 8.1 or later, and you uh, are using a, a template, and you want to back up your home page and your header and footer because you've made some changes there. The index and footer and top menu files that you want are not going to be in the main folder. They will be in your templates folder. So I'm going to click into templates. And I happen to be using template 13. So here's the here are the files that I might want to back up. I'm going to click on those and drag those over. Okay. As I said, though, if you haven't made any changes to these files, you really don't need to back these up. But, you know, better uh, to be safe and do something that you really don't need to do. One other thing you might want to do is back up your tables. And I think you even mentioned this here. You might want to back up the database tables just in case uh, something bad happens there and you never know. You know this upgrade really shouldn't. Uh, do anything drastic to the point where you should be worried about your tables, but it's always a good idea to back up before you start doing anything. So I'm going to go and back up my database tables by going to my uh, TNG admin menu. From here I'm going to utilities. And you see here I can uh, see a list of all the tables and I can back them up one at a time by clicking on the backup icon here. See, this table is now successfully backed up. I could do them, you know, right down the list, or I could select them all, or any number of them, and then with the selected, choose backup. And what, doing that creates all these, uh, a series of .bak files uh, on your website. Let's go find those. They'll be in this, in your, whatever you've called your backups folder. And once you got those over here, you can highlight them with a command or control A, and then just drag and drop them over to the other side. Um, I'll spare you that for now. <laughs> um, so that's how you back up your tables. Now, later, if you have a problem or a catastrophe, you can then restore these backups. It's always a good idea to do regular backups of your tables. Let's go back to the instructions, see what we need to do next. So, uh, assuming we've got all our backups taken care of and we're satisfied with that, the next step is, of course, to upload all the files and folders included in the upgrade, except the templates folder, which we'll uh, cover a little bit later on. Okay, that's a little special. All right, so let's go back to our FileZilla. And now we're going to go back into the... Uh, genealogy folder where all the uh, TNG files live. There we are. And on the left, I'm going to find my upgrades again. Let's see, here we are. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to select with the command A again, and I'll uh, unselect the templates folder. And I'm just going to drag and drop everything there over onto the right side. Now you can see all the files are, are going over, and this will take a couple minutes. Okay, that took about two or three minutes. I edited it out so you didn't have to watch that. But all my files are now over on the right. Let's go back to the instructions, see what's next. Okay, now it says to open this README file from your website. Now I remember when I previously opened it, I just double clicked on the file where I unzipped it. So if you look up in the uh, address bar of your browser, you see it starts with the word file. That's telling you it's coming from your local computer not from your website. So in order to now view it from your website, you need to erase all this part, type in your URL, along with the name of the readme file still on the end. Here we go. So now I'm looking at the file. You can tell it's now coming straight from my website. So let's go back to where we were. We've opened the file now, uh, uh, so now we're ready to do step five to update our, update our template. Uh, for most people, this shouldn't be that complicated. However, if you're using an older version of TNG, or if you started a long time ago before version eight, and you, uh, uh, back in that era in order to install a template you had to upload the template files directly into your main TNG folder. So if you're still using those files or that design you're gonna have to do something special. For everyone else all you really need to do is drag and drop the entire template folder up onto your site. Okay. But this does explain how you know if you if you're using an old uh, version, then what you have to do is find that template uh, among the upgraded files and drag over certain parts of the uh, uh, of what you see there. For example, let's go back into FileZilla in, in the templates. In template 13, you see there's a CSS, CSS folder, and on some of them there might be an images folder as well. So you'd want to uh, want to drag those portions directly into your main TNG folder, and it will overwrite the main versions of those files. All right, but for everybody else, remember I said you could just drag and drop the whole entire templates file up there. So let's go back to the upgrade folder, and you just drag this whole file right over. Now, if you have customized some of the files that are in the templates folder, you want to be careful of that. What you might want to do instead is to uh, uh, first go over to find your templates folder on the right. Here it is. Find the, your particular template and the files that you've uh, changed and see how I've got indexed backup. I've made a backup of my index file because I made some changes there. After you drag the whole templates folder over there, this other index file is going to be overwritten. So then you might want to say, well, find my changes I made in the backup and then merge them back into the new version. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and drag that whole folder up like so. All right, let's find, there we go. Just drag that right over. Okay, and I'll worry about merging my changes back if those are needed. So let's go back to the instructions. We're done with the template. Next is just uh, some other file operations. If you open this, it'll tell you what's going to happen. There's a link that you should click, and it tells you what it's going to do. It will try and update your template settings to include uh, some information for new templates. So if you click on that link, it should open a new tab and tell you what it did. And hopefully you'll see success at the end here of each one. If you don't, then you might have to uh, do this part manually. Um, and for instructions, you can go back and, and read what it says here. Uh, the next section is to update the database structure. Okay, so a few new table names have been added in this version. So what we want to do is go directly to the general set settings 
and enter names for these new tables. You can enter whatever you want, but I uh, have recommended that you call them uh, TNG DNA tests and DNA links. If you haven't guessed, this is for the new DNA feature. So let's go to our general settings. There they are, and I can open the table names. See, these two are blank, so they're brand new. So I might want to uh, call them DNA, DNA tests. Oops. And links. And then I'm going to come down and save that. I can close this tab. And then all I have to do is click this link down here to activate a script that will uh, make all the changes and create those new tables. So let's do that. See it opened in a new tab and uh, performed all those operations and they were all, they all said done. Now uh, if you've done this more than once then you may see that some of these operations have said uh, failed and that's okay uh, if, if that's the case. Okay, you can, when you're done with this, you can close this tab. Now, one other thing to note is that uh, I've recommended that you remove these upgrade files from your site once you're done. So let's go take care of that. Go back to FileZilla, and I'll scroll all the way down to find those. Here they are. And anything that starts with uh, upgrade, it looks like I've got a few older ones in here too, I can get rid of. So let's just delete those. Okay, while it's thinking of that, we'll go back and do something else. We should actually be done at this point. The only thing left here is step 8 is to clear your cache. Now sometimes when you upload new files, like for an upgrade, your browser will continue to hold on to some of the old files. So then if you go to your site and, uh, and try and use it, you might see some funny things. Some things might not work. So in order to fix that, you just need to clear your cache. And this is different from one browser to another, and there are some instructions here that you could click on to, to find uh, something relevant to whatever browser you're using. But in Chrome, you just go up to Chrome in the heading and choose Clear browser Browsing Data. You choose cached images and files, and you can unclick the rest if you don't want to delete that. Just click clear your browsing data, and you can close that tab. Now that you're done, you can go down here and click on your home page. Take a look, make sure everything's still okay. Looks good. Go look around. You might want to uh, check and make sure some of the things are there that are unique to the new version, like search site or uh, let's see if I can click through to one of our uh, people here and see, oh yes, there's a new family tab. And here's a new family chart that uh, goes with that. Let's click on one of my other ancestors. And uh, on the ancestors tab, there's a new fan chart area. You can see that, so it looks like everything's good. Let's go uh, check on the administration side too. I can see up here uh, I'm on version 11, so it looks like we're all good. So that should be all you need to do. Your upgrade is finished. Thanks for watching.